Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy DIY. Uh, recently I bought a house, uh, it's only a two bedroom house I bought recently and I'm just uh, about to renovate the property and we've done most of the work. So the idea is to um, get it done with the minimum cost and try and salvage as much as we can and save the money and that's the whole idea of this video. So what I do, I do a lot of um, renovations, I buy properties and I do them up and rent them out and sometimes we um, use the stuff that's already in and we if it's an old door we change the door handles uh, if it's a radiator or radiator if it's working we just um, paint them and um, change the valves on them on just so that we can save a bit of money um, so that's the whole idea so what i'll be doing guys is i'll be sharing the um, what i do when I come to renovate something on a very cheap and I'm sure you could do the same if it's your own house or if you're renovating a house or if you whatever you're doing instead of hiring a professional and paying a lot of money um, it's easier doing it yourself so this house I'm in um, when I came in the radiators all working perfectly fine the boilers working perfectly fine and we've painted the whole house, done most of the work and we're in the last stage of putting the carpet in and before we put the carpet in I decided that I'm going to flush all the radiators inside the house because I don't want to be doing this while the carpet's on so this is one of the radiators in one of the bedroom uh, as you can see we haven't carpeted yet so before we put the carpet the idea is to take this radiator out I've already painted the radiator and it looks new so it's working, I'll say it's perfectly fine. I don't have to change it because there's no point changing and getting a new one and wasting money because it's working and it's warming the room perfectly fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out. We've got turn the boiler off. Um, we're gonna isolate the both end, take the radiator out, take it into the backyard and use a hose pipe and we'll be flushing the radiators and get all the dirt out. So this is one of them, this is another bedroom here and this is another one here so I'll be doing the same with this one and downstairs what I've done is because we've actually um, painted the wall and we've done a bit of plastering so we took out the radiators as I say it's a quite old radiator we're going to clean it out a uh, bit of paint and this one's about to, uh, we're about to uh, flush uh, this radiator also there's another one I've already took out and this is the one I'm going to be doing in a bit and I'll show you how you do this with the hose pipe and so this is where the hallway is and this radiator was here so I took it out um, this is where the thermos now valve is and we turned it off so there's no leak or nothing there's another one over there so we took it out uh, to, uh, and also there was another one here in this room I uh, will be doing the same again we took it out there's no leak I turned the boiler off I made sure they're all turned off and before I put them back in I'm gonna give them a good flush get all the dirt out and put it back in you'll generate more heat when you flush them and it's good for the boiler itself as well what I'm doing is I'm using a hose pipe and this is one well, toilet downstairs and I've managed to take this uh, pipe from the toilet and use the hose pipe on a um, on a, one of the stop valve here and on this end I've actually put a 15 mil plastic pipe on a, another stop valve here which will screw into the radiator and on the other end I've got another hose pipe here again you could either use a copper 15 mil or you could use the plastic 15 mil and with this um, pipe here I've put the um, copper so that it doesn't copper wire tied around so it seals are nice and tight as I say because I'm doing a temporary it's not something permanent um, I've just made this now and um, I'll be using this to flush this radiators out. It works perfectly fine. You don't have to go out and buy expensive bits. I'm doing it from this is uh, from here from this pipe, but you could 
if you're using a hose pipe you can do it from your top you can do it from your outside top you know whatever is easier for you and it's very easy to do and it saves you a lot of money so I'm gonna set this up and I'll do uh, another clip on it thank you guys so I've managed to um, connect the pipes to the radiator and I'm ready to um, flush it out so I'll show you what I've done um, so if you see here this is the pipe and that goes in there I've got the stop valve actually it's stopped at the minute I'm not gonna have to turn it on so I'm gonna turn that on and on this side I've done the same it's a 15 mil um, it's the Conex um, the isolating valve that I put in with a 15 mil copper pipe onto the um, uh, this pipe here a hose pipe and I've got a bucket here so that I can show you what comes out of this and you'll see a lot of black stuff will come out and um, that I'm using one of the paint bucket that we had the empty bucket and I've also got a bit of timber to hold that pipe down because you will um, make a mess so I'm going to turn it on at this end it's already on here and I'm just going to turn this on now so what the idea is to fill that up so I want to turn this off on this end and turn this on so it fills the radiator so it's on now so it's filling the radiator now the radiator is full there's a bit of water dripping but don't worry about it make sure you do it in the outside your house and now that it's all full of water inside uh, I'm just going to turn this on slowly but I know it's going to splash it's going to sprinkle yeah. all that black stuff that's coming out so this is what's inside your radiator I don't think this has been flushed out for a long long time uh, see it's literally black I'm just going to let it flush um, and then I'm going to stop it in a bit but once I've done this then I'm going to turn it over turn the radiator over, fill it up again and then flush it out till I get a clean water so I'm just going to this is all, the bucket's almost full so I'm going to stop this see this is um, literally black Just gonna empty the bucket. Is that the way? Just gonna put inside the drain. My drain's blocked here, so I'm gonna have to unblock the drain. So I'm just putting the toilet and flush it. all that black stuff it's really bad I mean this um, boiler doesn't have any filter on it so you can imagine what it's going through like I said the whole idea of, of this is to I don't need to change the radiator because it's working there's no damage there's nothing you know it's working perfectly fine so I'm trying to save much money as I can. So I'm gonna turn this on again. So you fill it up at the end of this side. Um, just turn the valve on and let the water out. See how black the water is, it's it's full of dirt.
they empty the bucket. So I've just um, emptied that bucket again. Um, you see at the bottom, it's full of um, black iron rust. So I'm gonna do the same again. Uh, put that in there. That's it, it would um, hold it down. And turn it on. Turn the valve on. And you'll see it's the same again. Now it's starting to clear up a bit now. So you gotta do this till it's all the water's all clear, and you gotta turn it upside down as well and give a bit of tap on the radiator so you have all the dirt that stuff will come out. So we're gonna empty the buffer again. Just putting into the toilet because the drain's blocked here. So I'll say we're going to renovate them and get rid of all the toilets. The, we're going to renovate the whole uh, bathroom. Do it again. Turn the valve on. So this is the fifth bucket I've actually filled and it's still coming out. Okay. Let me see it again. My helper is gonna turn off for me. A few more times and it should be clear. Do the same again. You don't want to be doing doing this on your driveway or you know in the back because the stain um, will be very hard for you to um, remove after because it will stain your um, driveway or if you're doing it outside. So you got to be careful um, when you do it. That drain wasn't blocked, I could have literally um, left the hose in there and just keep it running. And this is the worst radiator I've ever come across. Do the same again. You see all this black dirt underneath?
Yeah, you know, wait for it to fill and then and empty it again. Okay. Yeah, just gotta keep doing this till the water's clear. So I think it's gonna take ages for me to um, video all this. So what I'll do is once I've turned this radiator over, um, I'll show you how you do it, and then um, um, I'll do another radiator. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. So after filling um, 10 bucket of water, or 10, 11 bucket of water, um, it's started to come clear now. So I'm gonna turn it on, and let's see. So even then, uh, it's nice clear, but it's not clear than before. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna turn this radiator over and do the same again. So I've been tapping it with a hammer lightly and got all the dirt out. So as you can see, it's clearing up. So I'm just gonna stop it again and empty the bucket. Whoa. So you just gotta keep doing this till so clear. I gotta do one small. See the water is not clear now. So I'm gonna turn this over and um, do it again several times and hopefully it should clear out. So I've managed to turn it over now um, and it's it's full, the water's inside. So I'll show you what comes out when you turn it over. So I've gave it a little uh, tap. So it's all full and you just gonna turn the um the valve on which is this here and you'll see what comes out now so you just gotta keep repeating this till the water is all clear once you've done this, you'll see the difference in terms of heating um, and your boiler performance will be a lot better. Get a good few years out of it. Okay. I'm just going to empty the bucket. Let's 
clearing up now. So you just want to give it a little tap. So say I've used this uh, copper pipe on this side with the um, hose pipe here and I use a bit of copper wire to tie it down so it doesn't come off and it's just the, uh, the valve isolating valve that I've done here um, so you could do this you don't have to go out and spend money and stuff like that see on this side same again 15 mil um, the isolating valve 15 mil you can use whatever you want, you can use plastic, you can use copper, whatever you have available. Get a hose pipe, and you can literally do it from the outside tap. I'm using this um, water pipe for the toilet, because I'll be replacing the toilet anyway, so I'm going to get rid of all that, putting your toilet in, towel the floors and stuff, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just using it, doing it that way, because that's the easiest way for me to do. So, the bucket is full, so I'm going to empty that. And... Um, I'll do a few times. Just do it once more. Turn this back on again. Here now. Not that time. Yeah, so you've got to keep doing this till it's all clear and then once this is done I'm going to do the other one and um, give this a good clean and paint it and put it back on the wall. So the next one I'm going to do is this one here and this tube stays. Um, so what I'll do, I'll do another clip where how I take them and how I isolate the valve before I take them out. So this is the radiator I'm going to take out and I'll show you how I do it. So what I've done is, um, I've actually turned that off so that's on zero. And also I took this one off with a little screw. So, and then use my pliers to turn this off. So you want to make sure they're off. At the same time, the boiler is off. You drop the pressure. So what I do is I use this one here to drop the pressure and, um, and also make sure you get a buffer and a bowl or something ready because you're going to have a bit of water inside the radiators so you've got to catch that make sure it doesn't go through the floor and damage your ceiling and if you've got a carpet then you want to make sure it doesn't go on the carpet because it will stain the carpet very bad so um, now that it's all off what I do is I'll um, undo this one, but it's a good idea, you know, holding this while you're doing that, because I'm using the camera with one hand, so, because um, you don't want to be damaging your pipe here, you don't want to kink it and then it starts leaking, so that's loose, I'll do the same on this one. That's loose now. So you gotta get ready to get the water coming out. Oh. Uh. There's no water on this side. That's how, oh. so there's no water coming out. Um, this side 
here. There's no water here either. So I'm gonna take this off the bracket, take it outside in the backyard and uh, flush this one. So I say it's quite easy doing it. Uh, make sure you have your boilers off, drop the pressure, turn the valve off both sides and um, just unscrew, undo the uh, nuts and you want to be prepared in case there is any water because uh, I'm doing it and there's no carpet here and I want to get it done before I put the carpet in uh, say the boiler that I put, it's quite old boiler but it's working perfectly fine I don't need to change it because it's doing its job but the radiators before I get the carpet on I want to flush them all out and it'll help the heating heat up the house a lot quicker and also less pressure on the boiler. So I'm going to take this out into the backyard and I'm going to flush this. So this is the last radiator that I'm doing. I've done all of them. And um, so I've connected it up as usual. I've got this side um, turned off and this side is open. So right now the radiator is actually full and um, I've got the drain here in the alleyway so I'm gonna let it out in the drain and I'm just gonna turn it on um, so you can see the literally um, black so that's coming out I'm just going to leave it running, um, let all the stuff out and then I'm going to give it a bit of tap and turn it over until it's all clear. So there's no longer these radiators and there's no phone throwing them away and replacing them. So what we did was just um, painted them, give it a good clean and flush it out and it should be, it should be okay then. Just gonna give it a bit of tap with something or uh, give me a screwdriver. Usually you just get a mallet and do it, but just do it. So I'm gonna stop it again and let it fill up. And then once it's full again, I'm going to let the water out. It's full now, so it's going to do it once more. I don't think these have ever been cleaned, um, never been flushed since uh, they've installed it. Must be about 20 years or maybe over. So once this is done, um, I'm just going to install, put them back in and um, connect them back up and 
pressurize the boiler and get it all working again. So when, when I'm uh, about to install them, um, connecting them up, I'll do a further video. So I've managed to um, put these radiators back and I've lined them all up. Um, so I'm just going to tighten them up now. Um, so you just want to make sure they're tight enough so it doesn't, it doesn't get a leak. So once I've um, connected them all up, um, I'm going to turn the boiler on and put the pressure up. So at the same time you want to be able to, when it comes to this point here, when it's tight and you want to do extra tight, make sure you hold this pipe there so it doesn't turn with it. Um, so once you've done that, turn, the, turn them all on, make sure they're all on, put turn the boiler on and just start pressurizing and just check for leaks. This is another one I'm going to do. I'm going to connect that up. See? And just going to line them up. And that's where the boiler is. I'm just going to turn it on. So once it's all on and when I've pressurized it all, I'll do another clip. Hello guys. So I managed to connect all the radiators and um, make sure they're all tight but I'm going to check for the leak. So I've put the uh, boiler back on now. Uh, the boiler's on and i put the pressure up as well. This is um, my camera is a bit blurry. Uh, so that's where my pressure loop is here. And I've raised it to almost uh, one and a half. But what I'll be doing now is um, Bleeding, bleeding all the uh, radiators so it fills up and let the air out. So, um, I'm just gonna do it with me pliers for now, um, but I do use the key every now and again. See, there's a lot of air in there. Uh, what I'll do is um, the pressure will drop in the boiler, so I'll put it for the pressure once it drops, I'm gonna put the pressure back up. Well, these uh, different radiators have different, different uh, types of um, bleeding valves. Some of them with this, you can do it with a flat side screwdriver, or you can get the key for them and uh, do it that way. I'm just going to use this. It'll take a good few minutes to do them all. the pressure on that. The pressure is dropping. the pressure a little bit and do the other radiators. So I'm gonna stop somewhere just below two and go around and bleed all the radiators. So I'm not gonna uh, do a video on bleeding every one of them. Once it's all done and it's all working, um, I'll do another clip. 
Hello guys, um, I've managed to put all the radiators back on and I made sure they're all tight and there's no leak and I've also bled all the radiators, specialised the boiler and um, they're all on and I'm getting a really good heat out of them now which I didn't have uh, before so this is uh, one of the radiators um, and my camera is a bit blurry so it's all working perfectly fine, it's been bled and every time you bleed it you have to go and pressurise it, put more pressure in, into the boiler so this is really nice and hot now it's been on for about half an hour uh, this one here in the hallway again it's nice and warm it's working perfectly fine no leaks so i went around checking every one of them and i've got no leaks so you want to make sure there's no leaks and keep checking for leaks um i say these radiators have been here for a long time and I can't see any problem with these. Um, I could have changed them, but being a rented property, we want to basically maximize our profit. Uh, so we want to keep it to minimum cost. So it's best of just painting them, cleaning them out and paint them and then service them. And you save a lot of money. So guys, if you find this video useful, uh, please share the video and also don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you guys.